Hi everybody, in this video we're going to show you how to add additional diagnosis code fields in Metasoft. Now, this can be helpful for those times where you want to send out more than four diagnosis codes on a claim. We're going to take a look at Metasoft and start out here in the transaction entry screen. So as you can see, we have four diagnosis code columns. But to add additional ones, all we have to do is go to the File menu option, and then go down to Program Options. Once this window comes up, you're going to click on the Data Entry tab. And I was messing with this field earlier, but we're going to go ahead and change this to 10, because we need to close out of transaction entry, reopen it up again, and then we'll see those additional columns show up. Let's go ahead and try that. So save it, I'm going to close out of transaction entry, open it back up again, and now you see all those extra columns showing there, including the diagnosis pointers, where you have up to 10 now. So you can change that number in program options to anything up to 12, that's the maximum. Another thing that you can do here with these columns is you can modify the name or the label of it. So if you want to do DX1 and then shrink the columns a little bit, you can also do that. And you, you access that area by clicking on this little black dot to the left of the word date. As soon as you click on that, well, we got to first select the patient. Now we can click on that little black dot. It brings up the grid columns window. From here, you can click on, underneath the caption, any of these labels. So for Diag1, I can switch this to DX1. Same thing for Diag2, DX2. We'll just do those two as an example, and then click OK. And then you'll see the columns relabeled to DX1, DX2, and you can do the same thing for actually any of these other columns that are here. And then from there, you can shrink the column a little bit by clicking in between those columns. That way you can have a little bit of more space in this window. And that's how you add additional columns and modify the names inside of transaction entry. If you have any other questions or run into further issues, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And also do us a favor and click that like button. Thanks again and see you on the next one.